Hi, I'm Jackie and welcome to Squid Ink. Today, I am here, I'm gonna be crafting and doing artsy stuff. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. So today, we're gonna create a little vision from Jensen Impact. So I thought that would go along well with my other channel, Squid Plates. I do game views stuff there, like Jensen Impact. So, I'm gonna take these little, little uh, teardrop. This one. This one's like chipped and crud, so we're banishing it. And I'll be taking this, and this will be like the element part of the vision. So I'm going to quickly draw a around it on the halfway point of my little piece of paper to create a like pattern for the vision itself. So I'm also going to be using some sharpies to sort of help myself with the to see the pattern, and also y'all be able to see it better than too. So that's the little part where the element is. Now I'm going to draw all the um like what the division holder I don't know what you call that <laughs> the vision holder thing. Yeah, that's what we do. I'm gonna draw around that. I don't struggle very much. I'll draw around that sort of creating the vision holder so I can, you know, I said it's like a pattern. Um, <laughs> yes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm here drawing the little triangle. We're gonna do a Mondstadt vision is what I decided on. So that's what we're doing. And I don't apologize now for the... And quality of this video is not the most top notch as it is the first one I have ever recorded or did. So the the quality gets better. It it gets better just just handing gear, okay? <laughs> but for now this is what we're doing. I'm just quickly stitching in. And I also get better about not covering up the entire thing that I'm drawing so that way y'all can't see it. <laughs> I get better about this, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so we're just finishing up like the under wing part of the vision. I am erasing it, so I decided it looks horrible. <laughs> I think the actual issue was that they're too close together. The little wing part to like the under triangle of the vision. So I decided to just retry that again. So that's what we're doing now. I'm drawing that in. Struggling very much so, yes. <laughs> So yeah, I figured this this channel is for arts and crafty style stuff, so there's going to be drawing videos, crafting videos, whatever else I decide I would like to do on here that's related to those two items, or that's sewing, drawing, I mean, painting, uh, claying something, etc, etc. That's essentially what I will be doing on this channel. And so, yeah, that's essentially what this channel is going to all be about, and I am I'm very excited. I really like the way some of the views I, I made came out. But even though some of them were struggle, I really quite liked them. So, yeah, I'm very excited for this channel. And here we are. We're finally finishing up the little pattern. There we are. Here's kind of what it looks like right now. We have, like, all the necessary bits. Now, after that, I finished it up. I'm just going to quickly cut it out. Still with the paper folded over so that way it creates both sides. While I only have to draw one side and they're perfectly even. There's me putting the little tear droplet thing. That has a name. I'll put it in the description if I can find it. So, oh, after I figured it fits, I'm pulling out my Sculpty air dry clay. And I'm doing oh, right. ah! clay it. And fleeing the clay of myself, apparently. I'm attempting to roll this out to get to be as flat as I can. Um, it's, it, it's a struggle. Okay, it's a struggle. And so after I finally get it to be flat-ish. I keep adding water to it to make it like more workable and to try to you know, not have it as many fingerprints in there. So I'm going to put my little pattern piece that I made on top of this little layer of clay here and and I'm going to take my stabby stabby weapon of choice and start cutting around it. <laughs> and this just takes a little while well, to do but we are just going to very carefully cut around it uh, and you can't really see the out of one side of the pattern piece. That's okay. It's there. I'm cutting around it. <laughs> and so we're going to do that. Try not to cut the pattern piece. Cut our finger off. Cut anything that's not the clay, essentially. <laughs> we're going to try very hard not to do any of those things. And so we're just mm, chippy chopping around. I'm doing stuff. Oh. Honestly, I'm really quite happy with the way this turned out. This was a really fun project. I think this was a great idea for the first video. Was, was to make a vision. As I said, it sort of ties in with my other channel. Which you should definitely go watch. There will be a link in the description for it. 
But it definitely ties into my other channel, brings it over to here, and I, I, I'm really quite happy with this. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited, can you tell? <laughs> so yeah, now we're just going through. Chopping into- I don't know why I was wearing my sweater during this. Why was I wearing my sweater during the clay thing? This feels like it, I could easily just, just get clay all in my fuzzy sweater. This feels like a bad plan. Why is past me being ridiculous right now? Why am I wearing my bloody sweater? <laughs> oh, finally, we have it all cut out. So now we're just going to remove all the clay around it, essentially. <laughs> we're just removing... Oh, nope. There it is. Remove all the clay around it. We kind of have rough edges and everything. But uh, it is looking all right. And, well, you can't see... Do -do -do. Boop. Oh, that does not look too bad. That... Oh. Yeah. See? So it doesn't look bad. Now I'm going to take the little tear, tear water droplet thing and press it into the middle of our vision so it create the little, like, indent where the element part sits. And I'm going to very carefully take some clay tools that I have zero idea how to use. <laughs> and a lot of water and try to form this vision into, you know, what it's supposed to look like. So it take a very long time to just slowly work at it and get it sort of made. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm doing a great job describing things, aren't I? So, yeah, see, I'm just going to take like cool flatten things out, shape them to the triangles, give them a smoother edge, etc, etc. Et doing all that stuff. <laughs> and I will say, this channel's not exactly a um, uh, tutorial channel by any means. I'm just going to take what I craft and draw and share it with everybody and voice over part of it so like I feel like you could probably make a vision based off this video just from watching what I'm doing listening to me jabber on but it's not exactly a tutorial so yeah just it's not it's not a tutorial you could probably make it just from watching me but it's not specifically a tutorial there we go <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> so we're just going through once again clay tools. Those little wings were really difficult to do. Those little lower wingdings were very difficult to get like the right texture on and to get like the right shape. So I spend a really long time making sure I get the right shape on them and made sure they, they look right with like the little bottom uh blooper on the, <laughs> the bottom blooper. <laughs> the little bottom piece of the vision. So I spend a long time making sure that all looks right. As I said, I use a lot of water to try to get out all the fingerprints and try to make it be very smooth. Because I believe that's what water does. It makes the clay more work, both stops it from drying out, and then it also removes the fingerprints. I think. I'm not I'm not I'm not a master in clay. <laughs> I mean I can clay something, obviously, but this is not my main medium. <laughs> so I'm only slightly sure that's kind of what the water does. I see people use it, so then I just, I use it too and hope for the best that I'm doing it correctly. So, I'm trying to find it out. I'm waving my hands around. Yes, because I speak a lot of my hands, which is becoming more apparent with this format of video. And then we're finding it and trying to get it to be as symmetrical as possible, because it's supposed to be perfectly symmetrical. And Gus is, of course, here. Help me out with the voiceover, aren't you, Gus? I think y'all should definitely be able to hear him. And now I'm going to take like a little piece of clay and I'm going to cut a piece out of it in a, this very thin little bit of clay and put it onto the, and I'll make it into like a little ball thing and stab a skewer through it to create a little hole. And I'm going to attach this to the top of the vision. I am doing this so that way the vision could be like, it could hang off of something. Like I could put a like little, like it could hang off of a backpack or like a belt. Or a purse, the wall, anything of those sort of, sort of lines. So that's exactly why I did that to make sure that I could put wire through it. And then I could sort of make it into where I want. I'm once again, after I sculpted the entire thing, pressing in the little wire droplet. And then with that, that piece of this project is done. I'm waiting for it to dry. I am taking my paper. It is a Fabriano mixed media paper. It is quite a nice paper and I, I like it a lot. I use it for a lot of different things. 
Well, of course, they use for all different things. It's mixed media. That's what you're supposed to do over it. But yeah, it is a Fabian mixed media paper. That is what I am using. So, but what I'm doing right now is I once again trace the outline of the water droplet. And I am drawing the, the element part of the vision. We are doing a electrovision. It's one of my favorite um, uh, uh, elements to play in the game. So we're going to do electrovision. And I have a reference pulled up and I'm, I'm outlining that. For coloring in the vision element part, I'm using a, a Ahuhu brush marker from the pastel set. I believe it is the color Fissile. And I am also using Prismacolor Premier uh, brush tip markers. I have the color Fuchsia and the color Violet. I believe these are the colors I used. I'm not 100% certain, so it was kind of a long time I recorded this, but I believe those are the correct colors. <laughs> and I'm just quickly coloring the vision. I colored in the, the vision, the very light purple pink color I had, and I'm going to gradient a great gradient. I'm going to create a gradient of the background between the purple and the pinky purple. There are the words I am looking for. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just going to gradient those little colors together, blend them very nicely. And, the, and at the end of this, we should have a nice-ish looking vision. Yes, yeah, see, we're just blending them together, trying our hardest not to get draw in the lines of the electricity piece the lighter purple piece <laughs> I definitely know what I'm talking about <laughs> yeah so we're just trying not to bl we're blending them out and it's looking pretty dang good I'm going over it with a Posca pin I believe a white Posca pin just to lighten up the purp light purple part I just like drew in it and then I'm going to go over the entire thing to lighten it up with the lighter purple that's what I'm doing, trying to lighten everything up, and once again making the new part I went over, Posca pen purple. I'm adding some little white gel pen highlights, I believe this is just a jelly roll. Um, so I'm adding just like little electricity bits, which I don't think are visible in the end, but that's fine. Once again, I'm putting my little water droplet, tracing over it once again so I know where to cut. After I cut it out, I'm showing y'all I'm going to glue it, glue it to the little water, water drop. Up, any clear glue would work, but I'm not doing this in my room because I have birds in my room. So I take that out, let it dry, and now we have our little, little vision. And my camera is blowing it out. That's great, the little vision whore. I'm doing quickly go through and sand the entire thing. In. So that way it's, once again, nice, smooth, no fingerprints, no hanging clay, no no issues. Essentially, we're going to sand all of those issues and, and things away off of this. Make it nice and as perfect as possible. And though it's not going to be perfect since it's handmade. And that's perfectly fine. So, and once we're done sanding, I'm pulling out my basics uh, acrylic. This is in the color Mars Black. Like, I'm going to put a little bit of that on my palette. I'm going to take my little paintbrush. And I'm going to paint over the entire thing black. Now, I know what you mean. But vision holders are not black. That would be correct. They're like a bronzy color. But... In my experience when painting with uh, metallic colors, you should paint them um, black initially. And then if you go over the top with if your bronze color, then it will really show through. So after I'm done painting that, that then after that's all dry, I'm going to be pulling out. Yes, please stop showing. I believe I am using the bronze color in Liquitex Basics. I'm going to pull up my, my nice little metallic color. I'm going to take my paintbrush and paint over the entire thing it'll look a lot more bronzy than it would if we just did it over the white base and now i'm going to do i think i did five layers of paint <laughs> so we're going to quickly just paint over it let it dry paint over it let it dry paint over it let it dry etc because i'm telling you i did i needed a lot of layers of paint to make sure it was like as bronzy and beautiful as i could get it <laughs> So we just keep painting over the entire thing. We made sure we get into all the crack crevices. And you also gotta make sure I did the back as well. So that way, like, if it hung off a backpack or something, as I said before, then it would actually, you know, there wouldn't just be a white back. So that would look stupid. <laughs> so I see I'm painting all, all through the crack crevices of this entire thing. 
this this took me a little while to do here's another layer <laughs> here it is <laughs> yeah yeah this this was a long process the painting the drying and here it is all painted up like after the five six however many layers i did i'm gonna go over the top of that with a clear mod posh to give it a nice clear coat so the paint doesn't like chip the crud off so i'm gonna give it i think i did two layers of that just for extra protection so i thought if i actually did put on a backpack it would need that now finally it's done and um, with the clear coat and the bronzy coloring so now i have the vision here which because my clear glue, it kind of affected when in, it like affected the markers and turned them all pink. So I tried coloring the back of my little paper piece with the purple, see if I get to like bleed through and show more purple. I think it sort of worked, but like it sort of worked, but not like to amount where this is a necessary step. Like you dip this and be fine. But this is why you should test your art supplies with. Your glue, or else you might get a hot pink vision. That actually worked. I'm not that to work even sort of. So. Yeah, so it kind of worked, but it kind of worked. So now I'm gonna pull out the gun. I have a glue gun. I'm armed and dangerous. I'm gonna put a blob of hot glue that was a little too much in the middle. Pop my little vision in there. I don't wipe away that's his hot glue. Please be careful if you do that. This stuff's bloody hot. I just have no more feeling in my fingers. <laughs> I did that, and it's in there, and it looks really quite good. So now we're getting to the point of we are almost done. What we're doing is now I'm going to take some wire, which is really hard to see, and I'll jab it through the hole we had previously made. And once again, I'm sorry, this is really hard to see, but <laughs> is what it is, I guess. And we'll take and I'll bend it up over the little top piece of vision. I'm going to twist the two wire pieces together very tightly link so that way it could sort of just like like you know be sturdy then we'll take the last little two loose bits of wire that are in going in the opposite directions and i'll take them and wrap them around the bottom of this little clip as as tight as i possibly can get it so that way it can you know as set clip on the stuff and you know be okay <laughs> and not like fall off so that's what i did i just attached it to a clip and there we are now we have a completely finished vision from Jensen impact and i think it turned out really quite well is it exactly how it looks in game no but if you saw that you would know it's a vision and i as i, said, I think it looks i think it looks pretty dang good for being handcrafted And here is the final product. This is my nice little zoomed in shots of the little vision. Sadly, that's all time for today. Hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!